Now, it's definitely going to be a surprise, too. You know that, right? You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> it better not be no fucking surprise, too. It's going to be a surprise, too. Yeah, what the fuck they gonna do? They gonna wake up in the hospital because he passed out of this party. He's gonna wake up at the hospital, or whatever. His wife gonna be there. She's gonna be just like, "Oh my god, Greg got into a big car accident or whatever." And you know, you got into a car. I mean, you uh passed out. Like everything okay? And then like he gonna survive the the, the killing. Like the mm. hitman that tried to kill him probably shot him in the car. His car flipped over. He thought he was dead, but he in the hospital. He's living still. <laughs> so it was like now it's up to the guy was named uh david to make sure the hitman don't try to finish the job it's like, the fuck, oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck i told you not to call me now it's consequences you are now tuned into black on black crime right disclaimer no matter if we liked your movie liked your show or hated the show or hated your movie doesn't matter we respect you shout out to you and we support you and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you black on black prime we stand on what we say though and just like always if you didn't ask for our opinion we didn't ask you to listen to it so sorry click and turn it off <laughs> <laughs> Surprise and surprise too, which is what we're going to review today. <laughs> I don't know if Brian's frozen or if he got attitude. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody to Black on Black Prime. Yeah, Brian, and that's Lamar. I'm from Los Angeles. He's from Oakland. <laughs> I am from the Bay Area. I'm not necessarily from Oakland. I am from the East Bay. Hold on, hold on, bro. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> what <from> East <laughs> Oakland. Not Oakland, nigga. East Oakland. <laughs> Don't let the low cut confuse you. This guy inside <laughs> is pure peacoat. <laughs> I, I ain't vibe. never, I ain't ever owned a peacoat in my life, man. No matter, it's in your soul. <laughs> <laughs> I never owned a goddamn peacoat, man. I never, never owned a racer jacket. You ain't never, never stuck your body out a window and said, "Wow!" I ain't gonna say I never did that. <laughs> I'm saying. I... <laughs> I ain't never had no damn <laughs> Pico though. Some never Jabon, wore a tort t shirt. Uh, <laughs> some t bods, nigga. <laughs> you ain't never did this. <laughs> you ain't you ain't never you ain't never put your hand to that side and do this. <laughs> I'm only doing this right now because it's more interesting than what we're about to talk about. <laughs> Oh man. Now nah, I'm not gonna shit on Janiah Black like that, man. Um surprise too. Uh, let me say this. Let me say this because I don't want it to seem like we just hating or just tearing down this movie. I I respect people that that go in and just say, fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. I res I respect that angle because she made the first surprise. Uh we, we did our review on it. It was obvious as shit. That's why we didn't really it, it was cool but it wasn't yeah you know what i mean this surprise it was just like it, it's funny because on our review we just joked about how they can make a surprise too with him waking up in the hospital mm -hmm. and they just did it like fuck it like why not 
I'll be feeling like that. Why not? If you if you got people watching it, I mean, everybody was like, oh, shit, surprise, too. It's a lot of people who love this movie. Yeah. So it's like, why not? Fuck it. I like it. Yeah. I, I'm not saying I like the movie. I like the idea of being like, man, fuck it. You know, and, and like with the regular, I don't even want to call them regular, but like the the motion pictures that, that be in the theaters or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they don't they don't go in thinking of a part two until they get the demand for it. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, like if it just goes crazy and people are like, oh, we should make a part two. And then that's when they make it. I feel like these are more like we gonna shoot the part two regardless. Like we gonna shoot the part two while we shooting the part one. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's, yeah, I like that. Might as well. You know what I mean? Might as well. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. So I, I kind of, I saw it happen and I was just like, first of all, the dude, they never showed the guy dead. And I think you said this in a previous podcast. Mm-hmm. They don't show the nigga dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Or or there's a possibility of him being alive until it's confirmed. Right. And, um, you know, I don't, I didn't really think there was much of a story to tell. I thought they were going to flip it a little bit and it was going to be more of him trying to uh, kill the hitman to not kill. Like, I, I feel like the hitman said that, hey, like once it's on, it's on. Like, don't, don't call mm-hmm. me and be like, we can't do this no more. So I felt right. like uh, David was going to go and try to kill the hitman before he kills his friend. Yeah, it, yeah, it seemed like, um, it just seemed like that would be the ideal way to to, to take things. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand the hitman is like trying to still kill uh, Greg because he didn't finish the job. I understand that angle. Um, but uh, they was they David was chilling too hard. Like, if you know this hitman is out here, like, I'm not leaving. Like, say I tried to get Brian killed, right? This is just an exaggeration. I mean, this is just a hypothetical. I tried to get Brian killed uh, because I accused him of, of like, uh, backdooring us with the movie we're about to drop. Like, he made a deal on the side. So I tried to get him killed, and I find out that he didn't actually do that, and he's still alive. Then I visit him in the hospital, but the niggas I, I paid to kill him is still out there. I'm not gonna leave the hospital and leave Brian in there because I know I paid to get him killed. They wanna, they, they, I told him like I said, kill this nigga, shoot him in the head. They missed, so I know they still want to kill him. Nigga you know what I mean? I'm not gonna leave. Nigga shot me a message at the end of the day. He was like, "Yo, don't <laughs> sweat out me, nigga, or you're gonna die." That's what he said. I literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on your ass, nigga. <laughs> Um, I'm outside, nigga. Open the window, nigga. You in there eating good and shit? <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. You know what's funny, though? And you might not agree with me on it. I actually like this one better than the first one. I did, too. <laughs> um, I did, too. And, was- and, it's, and, it's, and it's more so, I think it more so because we went in this not knowing what to expect. And it was no real surprise this time. Mm-hmm. Now, well, it was surprise. <laughs> David is actually crazy, <laughs> right? If you want to be, if you want to go into that, like you know, it wasn't a surprise party to surprise that mm-hmm. nigga to like, okay, that's how the movie's gonna end like that. But this was more of a like, it's a surprise to his boy, Greg. At the yeah, because it's like, oh damn, like my friend is really. You know, because that nigga held that nigga down the whole time. Like, nah, man, we family, we friends, we woo woo. Nigga, the police. Hey, 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 don't don't skip past <laughs> don't skip past the fact. Greg Greg spent his hard earned money <laughs> to buy him some more Hawaii. <laughs> so I'm like, man, if they stop putting, they gonna stop pushing Hawaii. I feel like if if Janiah Black saw this podcast. <laughs> She took what we said and then <laughs> and, and put a double dose on it. She probably like double down on it. Like nigga, I been shot this or whatever. But if she saw this app, <sighs> saw this podcast, she was just like, "Oh y'all, y'all fucking with that Hawaii motel." <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> this is the crazy part because after he gave him the tickets, I li- I, was, I was watching with my wife. I was like, "That's cool." You should ask that nigga where they staying though, because they keep talking about flying there. <laughs> if you if you could barely afford the plane tickets, where you staying at? You just gonna get there? Stop giving your rich friend <laughs> tickets to Hawaii, bro. It's not, <laughs> bro. First of all, you in the hospital. Uh, you know, uh, uh, let me put on David's shoes one more time. Um, if I was David, right, I'm, I'm trying to stop the killer, 
uh, as I'm kicking it in the hospital, my wife start extra fluffing his pillows and tucking them in and shit. I'm gonna call the killer like, hey, double down. I got another 15 for you. Cause, <laughs> Cause these motherfuckers is creeping around. She was doing a lot. Like there's 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 lines you draw. You don't gotta extra tuck him. He got a nurse there. You don't gotta extra tuck him in and shit and fluffing his pillows. Like you doing a lot. The fuck is you sit the fuck down. I was rolling when that nigga uh, looked at her when she flipped the pillow. She was just like, all right, you know, take care of David. She's fluffing that nigga and, and tucking him in. The nigga said, the nigga had a big ass eye. <laughs> he looked at her like, bitch, you know what I'm capable of? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was looking at it like, if I was in David's shoes, right? And this is not me as like, you know, now, because I would never do nothing like this in the first place. But I feel like once you in it, you got to make sure everything goes down the same yeah. way it was going to. Because now it's like you're going to get caught up at some point. John was just like, nigga, let the nigga kill your boy. Or. <laughs> so, <laughs> <so> or. <crap. laughs> like, or. What? You kill the nigga that's coming to kill your boy. It's either yeah. or. Like you can't. You, but him calling the dude that set it up was a stupid ass mistake. Him leaving his partner to maybe get killed and reacting to it is a stupid ass mistake. It's like you, you got too many. Uh, too many loose ends. Yeah, and this the the hitman. He's supposed to be like this this nigga that you never see. This nigga yeah. is in the hospital, no mask, no nothing, just bare face with a syringe full of heroin. Uh, <laughs> I was like, dude, why are you outside? <laughs> why was he kicking it outside from night till morning and then leave? Like, why? Why? What was he waiting for? Like, why he didn't go in there and kill him if he was going in to kill David? You know how many cameras is probably in the hospital that seen that man's face? You're a hitman. Yeah. The nurse saw you. <laughs> you suck at your job. <laughs> you didn't kill Greg twice. Twice. They did twice. And you didn't <laughs> kill David. And you got killed in a cell. How did he get caught? I have no idea. But I know that nigga's trash. Well, I mean, he probably got caught because of the cameras. Oh, because of the cameras, yeah. He had to. I mean, he's dumb. And that old ass, old ass, uh, Gregory Hines, <laughs> not Gregory Hines, <laughs> Donna Glover. <laughs> that nigga said, oh, shit. <laughs> when he couldn't, he couldn't pin David. They killed him in the cell. Shit. Like, uh, y'all the, the, the slowest cops. How everybody know the dude dead in the cell and they just got the news, like, later on. It, it Ain't none of this shit added up. Um, I do. I like to point out and appreciate uh, people that use their money well. They only use like three locations in this whole movie. Oh yeah, for sure. They they had they had uh they had the stock footage of whatever outside whatever it was going to be, and then they yeah they kept on switching from location. the hospital to the house. Uh, it was funny because even the airport was at the room. <laughs> the other <laughs> she was on the phone. <laughs> the suitcase was leaning against the wall. <laughs> she was like, I made. Yeah, he made it where? Next door? <laughs> uh, I, I like how they did that, too. I, I noticed a lot of stuff about this this film that it might not even be true, but, like, you know how they couldn't go back to the house? Yeah. Because like, they couldn't get that Airbnb again. Oh, that's that's <laughs> real. That's real life. Yeah, that's real life. So if you do the part two, and that, say that the Airbnb is not available no more, you got to switch up. The, oh, like, man, we got to stay over, stay over somebody else's house down the street or something like that. Right. Yeah. Uh uh, speaking of them staying at that house, uh, as far as the staying with the secretary thing goes, my wife's not going to the airport and leaving me in this woman's house. There's there's not a world for that. Yeah, there's not. There's a either you coming with me on this flight or you take your ass back to that house and risk your life. You you're not gonna leave me here with with curly lady uh, secretary. She's not. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Nah especially not why everything is going on uh no, not even just just regularly like you ain't your wife not, don't trust you that much he's not a jealous person he is your she, wife don't trust you that much even if she ain't a jealous person and she's naive as fuck so <laughs> i think she's a little bit different when it comes to this because after all I, I, I was trying to wonder why nobody else realized that he was like even greg at the hospital nobody it didn't click to nobody that he was actually coming at y'all foul a couple of weeks ago, like about this whole. It's situation. like, it's like nobody remembered that except for the secretary. That's it. It's just like, okay, do you remember him like kind of being mean to you for the last? I was like, yeah, this nigga did try to kill me. <laughs> this nigga was mad at me for two weeks for no reason. 
You know what I mean? Same thing with the wife. It was just like, something going on with y'all, whatever. She didn't mention it at all. Even when the cop came in and said it, that yeah. he was suspect, she was just like, he wouldn't do nothing like that. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, all right. Like, <laughs> this nigga. Greg, they remember you flipped the time, nigga. You, you flipped the time on me. He did. He told me, you'll find out soon enough. I, I'd have put some kind of puzzles together. Like, no, nah, no, nah, nigga, hey, you just, you, you threatened me, nigga. I remember that shit. That nigga was acting so oblivious to to everything. And he's just sitting in this hospital bed, just he's trying to he's trying to hit on a married nurse coming at that nigga on some like, oh yeah, it's easy to get a married woman. <laughs> that nigga David was just like that nigga eyes kept getting big, like Whoa. What's wrong with what he say. <laughs> that nigga's so psycho. That nigga just up like, uh, we got reservations. <laughs> <laughs> They got up. He was like, leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. Like, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> that nigga's abusive. I told you nothing. Leave me alone. Like, oh, this nigga is insane. Yeah, he is. Every time, every time he would, like, project, I would be like, damn. <laughs> oh, he was doing good. <laughs> it was like, some people can't project. And I get it, because it's like, I've, I've tried to do, like, some not acting, but like I had to be, you know, in front of the camera and not be myself or whatever at one yeah. point. It's, like, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. Especially Probably when they be like, all right, and action. That nigga did the same screen from the sink. That nigga was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, that nigga is a whole psycho. Hey, <laughs> pointing out a uh, ridiculous acting though. When uh, he was chasing her around that island, <laughs> And she was just like, <laughs> he was like, what, what you looking at? She was like, nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't have been in the house if I was her, bro. Like, she's, he's already given, like, all right, bitch, I, I know what you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she's just going to be, she's just standing there. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm cutting strawberries. She she was cutting apples, oh, slight like, dicing apples. It was like, what are you doing? What, what the fuck are you doing? The uh, when she was trying to, when she got that email, and then she was trying to explain to the wife, and David walked in. It's like, how many signs do you need that this nigga's crazy? Jeez. How many signs do you need? And also, uh, I thought, okay, do you remember in the first one, uh, David and Greg owned that company, right? As far as I remember, yeah. But in here, Greg was talking like they worked for the company because he was like, he the only one up there that look out for me. Why does everybody keep saying that about both of them? It's just like, oh, man, he's just great for that company. You know, he's everything to that company. So I was just like, it can be their business. But yeah, but it but it was that when they discussed it before they were they it was their company. Like they were discussing it like it was their company. But then in here, it was like they worked for the company. Yeah. I got to go back and look. Uh, I, I had planned to watch our last podcast again. Hmm. Um, but I probably will uh, check it out again to just to see um, uh, if they did own the company or not. Because I don't remember honestly. Yeah, I don't. I, I feel like I feel like that was said. Yeah. But um, uh, how do you feel about the old man having pictures taken while he was meeting David, even though everything is supposed to be top secret? Talking about the uh, the detective? No, nah, the old man. He was like, I told you, don't call this number no more. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> repeat the question. You said, "How do you feel?" How do you How do you feel about the fact that he was having pictures taken? He clearly was having pictures taken when he was meeting David, and he had those pictures sent to Greg. Yeah, that was weird. Um, yeah, that was weird. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that could have meant a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, that was weird because uh, it is supposed to be top secret. So if you're if Greg got these pictures, you you watched the whole thing go down and you taped it. It yeah, was, that's what I'm saying. It's audio. that's that that's a little far fetched. Like that really didn't make no sense. Yeah, I mean maybe it's coll like collateral thing. It's like, hey, don't don't forget. Like if you try to turn me in, it's like I got all of this. You know what I mean? Okay, well that that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, I saw they they got a little more money though because they actually had waitresses at this uh restaurant <laughs> this time. <laughs> they got paid off that first movie. Oh yeah, it was just like we got we can pick up another location you know what i mean <laughs> um, but it's not that nigga he looked at the reservation he was just like john right there she didn't see that suspicious at all she was just at like, all nigga, your she name was ready to eat john. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say i thought we had reservations she didn't do none of that she was like i'm ready to eat 
I don't know about your wife, nigga, but I know if I didn't scream at my wife, nigga, we talking about we go, let's go. She ain't going. <laughs> she was just like, you need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she gonna she gonna go up at because I don't raise my voice. She gonna go up another octave. Like, Who the fuck you yelling at? That's, it's gonna be that. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. We supposed to be there. Well, I ain't going no fucking where. It'd be, it'd be one of those. <laughs> if she got dressed to the T and, and went out anyway. <laughs> You were just like, let me put on this blue dress. You know, on the pop here. <laughs> the problem, the the problem I have again with David's character, just talking about in the story. Mm-hmm. Say something, man. Like, if, if if I'm sitting there, my wife is doing all this extra ass fluffing your pillows, tucking you in, shit. I'm like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Stop that shit. And I, I'm sure you would be uncomfortable. Like, hey, man, hey, like, don't, hey, don't do that. Like, <laughs> it's gonna start off with a joke. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> You're fluffing my wife's pillow. I'm really like, man, what the hell wrong with you, Lamar? You like my wife or something, nigga? That's what I'm saying. It would be at least <laughs> said. It would be at yeah. least be said out loud. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, you know, you're a smart person. You'd be just like, all right, that was like 25% truth. So let me let me slow mm-hmm. down. I mean, let me not. But this, right. this lady. Because <laughs> that nigga leave four, like, <laughs> it kept doing it. Like, bitch, you going yeah. to grab his blanket, too? Nigga, I thought the plot twist was gonna be that they was really fucking around. I that's literally what I thought. That's why I told my wife, I was like, I think they're gonna flip it like they really was cheating. Like mm-hmm. it's the way it's seeming, because nothing is that innocent. You already had all of these stupid ass dinners with him to plot this dumbass party. And now you over here extra tucking him in, fluffing his pillows. He got a nurse already. Mm-hmm. The, the the secretary keeps showing up. Why the fuck you you don't touch him? Get your ass over here and sit down. What yeah. are you what are you doing that for? Too damn much. I was just like, so when did y'all become so that damn goddamn close? You know, right. First of all, it was stupid for y'all to meet up anyway for this uh this little ass party. Yeah. We got text. Y'all could have been on the phone. Whatever. They got email. Let, let's meet up. <sighs> <I'm playing to> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh I think this one was I think this one was better only because it, it wasn't it was just it felt smoother. Mm-hmm. It felt like it was uh now it wasn't quick as I would have liked it to be though. It was still like, you know, like a full feature or whatever. I was just like they was dragging these scenes out, but I don't know, it just, it just felt like a like a better movie. Like I was kind of in like kind of anticipating like, you know, what was going to happen next and you know, the whole suspense of it. Uh, I was trying to figure out where it was going. They they literally I I I believe they literally only had an idea. I think they got an idea for a sequel. And then as they were writing the sequel, had an idea to make a part three because uh, you could tell the dialogue was stretched and I I, I felt like it was long. But then when my wife told me about uh, so um, when the, the, the detective was like, it's not safe for y'all to go home. And the girl was like, I'll call Lisa. She might let us stay with her or something like that. Then they had like maybe three more lines. And then she said that exact same line again before she left. Yeah. So it was like, oh, they stretch they stretched this out so they can make a part three. Right. And. Once you make a, once I know there's a part two, I feel like you already know there's part three coming. Like there's, mm-hmm. you know, I, I didn't think anybody, I knew the secretary was going to get it at some point. Why? First of all, why, how many people really died by getting their head hit on the counter? That seems like the kind of running <laughs> gag in a lot of movies. Somebody, yeah, he got game. Counter. Yeah, he got game. It happened here. It happened. Uh, uh, it was a bunch of movies. Like it's like when they get spun and then mm-hmm. slam. You see that? You always see the blood on the corner. Yeah, then they be on the ground. <laughs> yeah, there's a fucking doorknob, nigga. I'm just like, why is it always the counter? Stay away from yeah. counters, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm trying to figure out how many people have do like in real life have died by getting their head hit on the counter. That's got to that's had to come from somewhere. It got it, it. It had to be a true story. One time they heard, like, hey, man, we're gonna do that forever. Like, we're gonna do that from now on. Yeah. Also, he did that to fight her off for that folder. And when he looked at the folder, he said embezzlement. Who was embezzling him or uh Greg? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it said. Um it had to be him though, because she got that email from an anonymous source, like right, David something, and she was writing it down. Do you think he could have been embezzling money? You think that's gonna be a part of the next one? I think I think that's the only thing that makes sense. It can't be Greg because she wouldn't be hiding it from him if it was Greg. That's true. Um I mean, you just you never know. Uh, I feel like the next one, if I have any predictions for the next one, is just like Greg's going to get out of the hospital and he's not going to confront David right away. He's mm-hmm. going to do, do his own research and try to figure out like, hmm, like he's going to be acting like how David was on the first one. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know now, I mean? And then it's going to be like, he's going to call that guy and be like, yeah, I want my friend David killed. Right. You're going to be just like, uh, hey, what's up, Greg? How you doing? We're just like, yeah, nigga, we'll see. Yeah. What's up, nigga? <laughs> you up. Your time's up. You'll know in a little while. He going to fuck, fuck his wife on the third one. It's coming. <laughs> it's definitely he coming. Gonna, he going to admit to her first. It was just like, uh, I think we need to talk. I think they, <laughs> they did try to kill me or whatever. He was like, oh, no, he wouldn't do nothing like that. Like, bitch, look at the, this is the proof right here. <laughs> They don't want. They're not gonna want him to go to jail. No, like, they're gonna figure uh, it, it out. It, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a scene where like Greg is emotional and she just there by his side. Like you know, you've always been there for me. You've always been a good, a good friend to me. And it's gonna, it's gonna go down. She's gonna go right to uh, what was that movie? Um, Sugar Hill. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna let you do. Oh my god, I hate that scene, man. <laughs> I hate that scene, man. That every time I see dude, every movie after that nigga was on Crooklyn as the uncle, I was like, man, hey, he filthy, man. Get it, I'm get him out of there. Ah, oh, that that scene hurt my heart. I was a kid watching that, like, come on, man, don't <laughs> don't do that. To her. It's gonna. I, I think the third one is gonna probably be the best one. I'm gonna keep it real because I feel like a lot of stuff can happen. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they could address the the embezzlement. They could, uh, you know. Greg is going to kind of be coming at David a little bit on some like, hmm, like, yeah, nigga, I, mm-hmm. I know what you did. And, you know, he's going to talk to the wife. The wife is going to be like, no, nah, he wouldn't do that. She's going to he's going to show him the pictures and they're going to get close and he's going to get the draws. And then David going to find out that, that he got the draws for real. And it's going to be like, <laughs> oh, crazy. Set him up, set crazy. him up. I think the third one's going to. So it could go either way. It could either be the best one. Mm-hmm. Or the third one, we get introduced to even more characters, and they keep extending the movie. I'm new it's it. either or, because I, I think that <laughs> I think these checks is hitting for them. I literally think that. I think that's why they uh, that's yeah. why they pushing it like this. Like, hey man, keep this shit going. Because as soon as this dropped, it went straight to the top of Tubi. Mm-hmm. Everybody black is like, oh, they got surprised too. We love the first one, so it's like, shit, we're gonna keep this shit pushing. Yeah, and I think also while we liked it, just because, just like you said, like the first one was about the surprise, so it was like, all right, this is predictable. Mm-hmm. This one didn't have nothing to really do with the first one, like when it came to the title. Mm-hmm. So, and man, uh, and we have to find out who Lisa's people are. She ain't just gonna be dead. Somebody got to show up. Exactly. I'm looking for who killed my sister. Y'all was the, y'all was the last ones to stay there. Yeah, this nigga is like he's. He act like that shit didn't happen for real. <laughs> I was just like, this nigga, like you, you a psycho, nigga. If you fought, you first somebody, you hire a hitman one to get your right. best friend killed. That some information that you don't really even know. You didn't see nothing. Yeah, and you didn't really, really react when what's her name died. And I'm just like, all right, well, uh, this nigga's really a psycho, bro. He's really a psycho, and he literally killed her for no reason. She, he ain't confirmed nothing. It's just everything he's thinking. They might give the David a backstory on the third one. They nah. might start it with the way he was raised. Mm-mm. It's been a weirdo. I don't, th- I don't think so. I think we just continue on with the detectives. Greg is out. Greg ain't saying nothing. Greg is doing his own investigation. Lisa, somebody, either her sister or her brother is going to come to town. Like, I need to find out what really happened to my sister. It's going to be some shit like that. It- it's going to continue on. We're going to get about five of these. Hey, man. If it's making money. Straight up. I can't argue with you if you're making the money off. Hey, man. I cannot, but yeah. You ready? You want to rate it? Yep. Ah, let me get the... Um... Oh, man. God damn. Surprise part two. I think man, part three coming faster. Probably. That was six months ago. You know that, right? Surprise? Mm-hmm. Damn. I looked at the uh, the last video we did. I was like, damn, six months ago? That was fast as shit. So, uh, like, like I think, like you said, they got him in the tuck now. It was like that first one worked. So let's shoot like four of them right quick. I know Greg ready because that nigga stayed in the bed the whole damn movie. He was like, <laughs> yeah, "Fuck it, out. That's, the, that's, all, that's all you want me to do? I can lay down the whole movie? Cool." Hey, he didn't get up. He yeah. had one standing up scene when dude was dreaming. That was it. He didn't have to be energetic or nothing. All right, so uh, I'm ready. Ready. All right, go ahead. I'm going to give it a right. Now, let me start over. I'm going to give it a hmm. 
Right. 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 Was that only three? No, it's four. Okay. I'm going to give this movie a... Hmm. All right. Uh, hmm. And all right. Mm hmm. I show sure gave the writing a uh, hmm because it was like you could tell it was just stretched out. Yeah, it was just like, you know, the dialogue, it was it, just like you said, it was they tried to overdo it a little bit. I didn't really like some things didn't really, they didn't need to be there. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was only there to make the scene longer. You could tell yeah. that. And this movie would have easily, if I wasn't reviewing it, it wouldn't have held my attention too long. Um, mm. As far as the, uh, as far as that goes, production, you know, it, it's cool. So lower yeah. budget film, you know, it was good. I have no like real complaints about it. I just noticed a few things that who cares, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, acting. It was just David, man. Uh, that's the only reason why it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was just like that nigga screaming and stuff all the time. It kind of, you know, it's like <laughs> I, I can, like, I can. <laughs> I feel like sometimes in acting, and this is you know uh, a, a novice's perspective or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, less is more. I was gonna say that. I was yeah, gonna definitely say that. Less is let less is definitely more. It's um just do what's necessary. Don't overdo it. And right. I, and 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 I feel I feel like I feel like if David wasn't directed to act that way in those scenes, he could have delivered it better. Yeah. I, I think he he seems like the type of dude that's better if he's quiet. Like yeah. if he does like venomous stares, like when he does the stares, that nigga look crazy. Yeah. But then when he do stuff like ah, ah, you be like, oh, he took me out of it. You know what I mean? Like it it, it be too much. But when he just looks crazy, he just fucking looks crazy. Like he, right. like even when uh, even when when dude was meeting him in the office, the way he was talking to him, it was like from the first one. It's like the way he would talk would be like that's enough to make him seem crazy. Yeah, but he'd be like, I you you gonna find out in due time. Right. It's exactly. Like it's like that's 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 more mysterious. Yeah. Rather than him screaming or 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 going over the top. But even when he's screaming at his wife, it's like that ain't even that don't even sound right. Yeah. It doesn't. It's just like, you know, most wives have been like, nigga, fuck wrong with you. And she don't really know what's <laughs> going on. Like, she don't know this nigga is going through it for real. She just thinks this like, yo, nigga, what were you? Why are you screaming all the time now? Like, what's going yeah. on? She, she should have been though. But yeah, <laughs> but, I, I, <laughs> but I forgive his acting for that because I know I know that's how he's being directed to act instead of uh, uh I would kind of just be like, man, just do it how you would do it if you found this out. It's like, show me what you would do. I wouldn't be like, all right, I need you to deliver. I need you to scream. I need you to. It's it's like now you're forcing it. If that's not really in your uh in your repertoire, like don't do that. Yeah. Uh, and the story was and the story was good. I actually liked the story. I don't I even know what you're saying, guys. Hello. No. I got five G. Nah, your mic is off, guys. Screen. Okay, I hear it now. You hear me? Yep. Oh, okay. You know what I was saying is the uh I'm not sure what I rated the last story. Um, but this story was good. So I mm -hmm. I, I, I fucked with this a little bit more. Um maybe because it was it was simple, you know. What I mean they didn't need a lot for it. Uh just kind of flowed a little bit better. Um This is a this is a good example of uh uh, what was the movie we reviewed when we said that the the uh trailer ruined it? Um, um, out of bounds. Yeah, the way this movie dropped, I didn't see no previews. We didn't know about it until somebody posted it on Facebook. Like, oh, surprise two was out. Right. So it's like that. That was that was a better way to not give away your story. I guess I could say. But that, but that more so has to do with the first one being out already too. Right. Yeah, they dropped this like a Beyonce album. Yeah, I was just like, "Whoa, okay, surprise too." I, I just saw the poster, just like you did, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I, "I'm in." Shout out to Janiah Black. Um, if you make a third one, we we here for it. Yep, get your money, <laughs> get your money. It's, it's it, you got watchers, you got uh people viewing it, so fuck it. Get your paper, cuz get your money. Anyway, anyways. Like, share, subscribe, talk to us. We talk back. We everywhere. If you there, drop your comments below. Let us know what y'all think about it.
and we are out. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.